Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, and as you know, this is my HIV journey, um, where I chronicle everything related um, to this journey of me on HIV, um, being HIV positive. So there's something I wanted to talk about today, and that's grief, and also post-traumatic stress that can be related. You know, many of you who are long-term survivors of HIV um, and AIDS, you have experienced huge amounts of loss. You have lived through a time where um, HIV did mean uh, that you would die. Um, in the early 80s, uh, mid 80s, once a person became ill, they went to the ER and, and many times um, they would die in just a matter of days after becoming ill. And you know, today we live in a time with um, the medications and the uh, combination therapies, uh, such as a tripla, striblet, um, complera, and so forth, that the life expectancy is greatly increased. And so people are not dying like they once were. But that doesn't mean that you, as a long-term survivor, um, do not feel that pain, um, the pain of why are you still here and there or not, um, the questions of, you know, what did I do to deserve to be here, and, you know, also the pain of, you know, getting the news that you're HIV positive and that, you know, finding a way to, to fight the stigma um, and all of the associated um, ignorances and biases um, that go with it. I often hear long-term survivors who have um, dealt with HIV and AIDS and they recount their experience of um, you know going through their address book and just marking people off. Dead, dead, dead. You would see a person walking down the street one day and they would be healthy and fine and the next day you'd see them walking with a cane or you would see a friend of yours and they'd say oh yeah so and so you know they died fortunately I don't know what that's like um, I do not know anybody who has died of an age related illness I know people who've exhausted all medication regimens and most likely will die as a result um, of a weakened and diminished immune system. Um, but it definitely shows where we are in progression with HIV. Do you ever feel as if you have been forgotten about as a long-term survivor, that the pain that we um, endured has kind of taken a back burner and that the anger and, and fear has kind of calmed down. Is that good? Is it bad? I, I would like to hear from you about you know, what you think in regards to that. And, and what do you do to address the post-traumatic stress, the grieving, the guilt, the blame? Um, you know, what do you do to get you up in the morning and keep you going during the day? You know, I'm thoroughly convinced that we are all here for a purpose and for a reason and that you have to keep telling your story. Um, the reality is that people still are becoming infected with HIV at an alarming rate. People are dying um, from AIDS-related illnesses and globally AIDS is still very much a health crisis and a pandemic. I hope all of you are well. Uh, I would like to hear from you, comment below, and share this video. Um, I hope all of you are being compliant with your medications, and until my next video, do something positive.